Wednesday. It really is Wednesday. I'm reviewing a movie that... Let's... Let's see. I, I was... Okay, let me tell you the story of how I had to rent it. And this will kind of describe probably how a lot of people... A lot of people... A lot of people probably feel about it. And that is embarrassment to admit that they made me like it. That's okay. So, I was at this thing, they, they have these things called red box. I don't know if they have them where, where everybody's at, but it's like, uh, usually at the local supermarkets, it's this big thing, and you just punch, you know, which one you want, and uh, it's a dollar a day, as long as you return it by eight. Brilliant idea. Brilliant. Whoever, you know, came up with this thing called red box. Smart as shit. Better than Netflix, almost. Um, so, I'm standing there, and I, there are two people behind me waiting in line. And I'm just like, ah, uh, because I wanted to get the movie, and I'm like, if I could do it real quick, no one will know what I'm getting, and no one will judge me, right? I couldn't find it. I finally, I was just like, and these people are like getting impatient behind me, and I'm like, B, it's not under B, and it's not under, I don't know, I finally found it under drama. This is a drama, FYI. So, I pushed the button to get it, and bloop! giant picture, giant obvious picture of Twilight stuff. So I'm like, whatever, fuck it. I could feel my ears like burning though, and I was like, damn it. Uh. So anyway, I rented it. I'm gonna admit it, I like these little stupid teeny bopper movies every now and then. Are they the greatest thing on earth? No. Are they good to watch and just, you know, just, you know, frivolous fun? Yeah, it's a good movie for that. Am I gonna be judged because I said that I watched them? Probably. And if that's your thing to do, fine, judge it. And I like that I'm probably bringing down the integrity of all of Rough Cutting. You know, like I'm not reviewing an Ingmar Bergman or whatever movie or Woody Allen, if you can even consider him anything. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a Twilight movie. So, this is, I always call them by the numbers. They have different names, like Twilight. My mom then one time called it Twilight 2. And from then on, I'm like, wow, that's brilliant. So this is Twilight 4? I think there's been Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse. And this is Breaking Dawn. So I like how, I'm guessing you probably have all seen it. Oh, you haven't? <laughs> anyway, so this movie is actually a take on abortion. Kill the vampire. It really is. It's like perfect for now. Okay, so Bella is this human. She's in love with this vampire, if you haven't seen this stuff. And she also has like, it's like a triangle, love triangle. There's this werewolf guy who she really likes too. I'm Team Jacob, I'll be honest. I think he's he's the better guy. The other, if you like really emo, weeny kind of <clears throat> pale men, you'll like Edward. If you like big muscular men, which obviously seems to be my thing, uh, you like Jacob. But I just like I just feel like his heart's in the right place. Have I read the books? I read the first book, and it was the worst book I've ever read. Worst written book. Worst written book. They should have just called it "His Eyes Narrowed." Twilight. Because seriously, every time that every time someone did something. Edward, the male vampire guy, would, it would say in the book, his eyes narrowed. Over and over again! I'm like, can you break out of the thesaurus? Come on. Think some other ideas. Get some, get it going. But whatever. It's a teeny bopper book. It's an old Judy Bloom. You know, I'd like to see a real good Judy Bloom book turned into a movie. Right there, God, it's me, Margaret. So, anyway, well, where were we at? Oh, so then the movie. Um, basically, at this point in the movie, she's chosen Edward, and, and they're gonna do it, you know, but she's scared because she, she's not sure if he can... <laughs> I'm not sure if he can perform, because technically they don't have blood, and let's be honest, physi... physiol... physiol... Phil, phil, science says that you have to have blood in order to get an erection, okay? I'm just stating facts. So anyway, so somehow he's able to perform. 
and like it's like beautiful it's like the stupid like seriously the first 30 minutes are the worst part of the movie it's just like action please but you know this is like a little cute this is like the 13 to 14 15 year old like girls movie really maybe more high school too that's your dream man it's like every girl wants to be a princess you know and that's that's what happens in this movie so basically uh he's like breaking the bed and when he's nailing her and she's just like oh and the music's really like do, 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 whatever and so then um the next morning he's like i can't basically he's just, i can't fuck you again because <laughs> i'll hurt you and she's like i that was the best night of my life and he's like, but what about this? And he like pulls her like sh her shirt down. She's like bruises, and she and then he like pulls and her she has bruises on her hand, arms, because he can't realize his own strength, which doesn't make sense to me. I mean, you know, I don't know, whatever. I don't understand vampire anatomy. Obviously, there's never been a real good book written on it. Maybe someone should get to that. <clears throat> so at this point, like they're hanging out at their island. You know, they're always so rich. It's great. And again, the fantasy, the teenage um, fantasy of princess, you know, here you are, whisked away to an island for your honeymoon. So she turns out that she, she's like, Ooh. she's pregnant. She's got crazy vampire baby growing inside of her. They don't know how it, it was possible. And it's growing at a furious rate. And the furious rate is making, making her sick. And I'll tell you what, I really enjoyed this, the part where she got really sick. And the main reason is because of the makeup and like the boniness of her. <laughs> Can I talk about anything about the movie other than the movie itself? I don't really know. It's, it's, is it a good, out of all of them? No, it's not the best. I thought the second one was the best. Just because in the second one there is this really well done montage. Uh, with a really good song by, I'm not going to pronounce it right, Licky Lee, Licky Lee, where the um, camera was panning around where she was sitting and the seasons were changing, and it was really well done. There is a very good montage toward the end of this, too, like right at the end, where Bella is going through some real stressful times, and it's actually well done. A little bit teeny, but it's still good. It's, it's good. I liked it. Um... This movie, I don't know, I really don't know if I should talk anymore about it. I think that should be it. I should just say, I admit it, I watch these movies. Yes, I've gone alone. I like going to movies alone, though. So it's not a really big deal, but I've kind of like skulked into the theater for some of these things. And I don't mind. I don't care. It's, it's fun. You know what? We can't all the time watch some big bullshit movie and, you know, puff up our feathers about it. Sometimes you need to watch something that that is just stupid and fun and, and enjoy it and, and know that it doesn't have a lot of content to it. But it's good. A lot of movies are like that, you know? So whatever. Anyway, that's my review of a Twilight movie for you.